Ooh, this frittata looks delicious. All that bacon and tomato goodness. Oh, I love it. I can't wait. Hey guys, Daniela here and welcome to my keto cooking channel where I share with you the best keto recipes for you to enjoy on a daily basis. Tonight is one of those nights that I'm actually running low in groceries. I have to go shopping. So I'm gonna make breakfast for dinner. So we're gonna be making a delicious bacon frittata that is just gonna be amazing. I mean, who doesn't like breakfast for dinner, right? Let's get to it. Hey guys, and remember to like and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to bring you amazing, quick and easy keto recipes for everyday eating, okay? Let's get to it. For this recipe, you're going to need six and a half ounces of bacon or four slices of very thick cut bacon, a quarter cup of shredded cheese, a third of a cup of heavy cream, five and a half ounces of any type of tomato, one cup of kale, five large eggs, and salt and pepper to taste. Let's get to it, guys. Now, this is a very quick dish, so we're gonna start out by prepping all of the ingredients. All right, so we're just gonna start out by chopping all of our vegetables. Now, I usually buy my kale already chopped, but we just want these to be smaller, bite sizes, uh, to put in the frittata. And all of my vegetables are starting to get old, which is another, this is a great recipe for you to use up all of the uh, vegetables in your fridge that are going a little bit stale or old because you just want to use them up. As you can see, these tomatoes also have seen better days and that is why I'm using them. I don't want to be wasteful. Now these tomatoes, if you can see them, this the all of this is five and a half ounces and these are teeny tiny tomatoes. So five and a half ounce of another type of tomato is going to be um, like like a, like a, either like a big big tomato or a bunch of uh, little ones. Now I'm just gonna cut up the bacon to make it a little faster to uh, cook everything. Voila! Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Now I'm gonna use my nifty whisker beater, whatever it's called, my my three-in-one awesome tool here. This is so not necessary at all, but uh, it's just gonna help it be fluffier and thicker. So, but you can just whisk it with with some with your fork. That's fine. Before starting, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just a little bit, and a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna add the heavy cream, a third of a cup. Gonna mix it. So you guys wanna do that for like 20 seconds. And now we are all set. Let's heat up the skillet. Okay, so the skillet is heating up on high. So let me put all of the bacon in. gonna lower it to medium heat.
All right, guys, so before the bacon actually gets ready to whatever ready means to you, I like mine a little soft, I don't like mine too crispy. So this is like almost perfect for me, so this is when I'm gonna add the tomato first. let this um, dry up or saute for like 20 seconds. So depending how you like your tomato you can cook it for longer but it's been like 30 seconds so for me that's plenty and I'm gonna add my kale and this goes uh, after the tomato because it tends to shrivel up too quickly for my liking. Now we're gonna add the egg. You wanna use all the egg, of course. Check this out. And depending how you like your frittata, you can make it in a wide skillet or you can make it in more of like a, um, like a smaller one if you want it really thick. I like mine a little thick. And after this, we are going to lower it to low, medium. So my camera died while I was doing that, but it's been a little bit like four and a half minutes. So I'm just gonna add the cheese. Let's not forget the cheese. I always forget the finishing touch. Let's add the cheese. Okay guys, so I take it back. This actually cooked for 10 minutes in low flame and you can cook it for, for more or less depending on how you like your eggs. I like mine very firm. I know my husband likes them a little softer, so 10 minutes is a great compromise I think. More towards the, the, the solid state of the egg. And this is it. I'm gonna plate this and try it out. And breakfast for dinner is done. So, how do you guys like it? As you can see, it came out to be a very, very generous portion. This is just like a quarter of it. I would eat two of these or I mean you could also make it three portions but as you can see it's kind of thin it's not super thick so I think it's a very good generous just two servings two dinner portions I would I would think up to you though and I'm about to have it and of course I already know that I love it because who does not like a pitata at any time of the day. It's really good, guys. I mean, this is one of those, like, it's one of those that everybody just loves. Very easy, very keto. A perfect, very lazy keto dinner, I would say. Anyways, check out the, the card manager macros that it's gonna be in a second. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel, okay? Bye bye, guys.